Prediction? True. No one voted for Riz. Good. Thank you, chat, for always reminding me of prediction. I appreciate it. Why does it say Laws is loser? Hold on, let me fix this. It's not even optimal. You're down for the whole game. It's the <laughs> it. Not approaching his base when you're ahead. My <laughs> man's was two stocks down for like the whole game. Like yeah, it's a viable strat. I don't I don't It's just so uninteractive. Like who was it? At least when Needles was top uh camping top plat with down t uh with down air, at least it was like 3 and then you come off the plat. And you actually play the game. The, the problem with camping is that nobody has fun. And if you're camping while you're down, there's no point. You're not actually making a comeback. That, that recovery was insane. Like, I, I don't know what the point is. Like, are you just holding up bracket? Like, for what? Okay, you know, you know what? I'm, I'm done with this conversation because we have a real game and I'm not going to ignore it over this, okay? We, ha we have a real game. Let's stop talking about this shit. Th this set is going hard and I, I don't want the previous set to fuck it up. This is Magical Thing's first win, or this is Loz's graduation, okay? We don't fucking care about Loz's finals anymore. I don't know who I want to win. I kind of want Magical Thing to win. But Loz graduating would be hype. That's fucked up. Yeah, Loss has Loss has been on two wins for a while. When did Loss get his second win? Oh, it would be under Ipkit, wouldn't it? Um he got his second win in 95. He got his first win at 92. And then he's hosted one BB since then. After that, he got third and he got seventh. Oh my god. <laughs> I can I this is a dreamland game I can respect. Uh, after the last set, man, this looks so fast on dreamland. 
more troll DI. Oh, <laughs> nice dot eyes. You don't catch it. That's tough. Okay, finally, mass kills. Who put empty and losers? Uh, that would be Loz. Loz uh, knocked empty into losers in winner's semi-final. So this is a run back. Oh. This could be... Laws graduating. Yeah. The Phantom Jab. <laughs> Okay, this is looking really convincing. Oh my god, ah, uh, no stitch. Ooh. That down air to try and continue the combo was kind of cool. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. I, I was waiting for an F smash there. Yeah. Jeez. I have taken games off of Loz on FOD though. So Magical Thing can do this as well. If I, if I can do it on Roy, fucking Magical Thing can do it on Peach. No, MT always has a game plan. It's just that Loz is fucked up. Yeah. You don't, you don't get to second in a BB tournament without having a game plan. Like, you can't just bullshit your way in. Okay, there's a difference between not having a game plan and being stupid. Nice dot eyes. Oh, Lord.
there are less impossible comebacks. There, there are more impossible comebacks, I mean to say. Th this is... There are less possible. I've fucked it up. Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, that yeah, that one's on me. Yeah. That set lasted less than game one of the last. <laughs> that Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. Okay, Laws is taking a min before he... Uh, taking a minute. Fair enough. Also, prediction confirmed. So true. Who voted? Oh my god, everybody put the money on Magical Thing. The one person who put 170 on Laws is about to get the hugest payout of their life. Let's see who it was. Oh my god, it was rain. <laughs> that is a huge payout. That profit is insane. Also, yeah, Loz is a graduate. Now, that that's it. Loz is out. Loz is done. Hey! How's it going? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. I I'm sorry that there's that it's just me. Normally we have a lot of people on the mic, but nobody commentates BB anymore. Yeah, it feels bad. No, you're good. Oh, I, I, I feel a bit bad for Magical Thing having to go through <laughs> that. <and> then... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Fucking hell. But yeah, I actually had a pretty decent tourney. Uh, I'm glad I beat Rosaro. Uh, that was probably my no most nervous one. I didn't have any marts, which is huge. Yeah, Very so big. you played Army Wife, and then Bombino, Magical Thing, Rosaro, Magical Thing. You dropped two games, one to Army Wife, one to Magical Thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not flawless. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, Ethan got. Does but. it? Does it? A, how many people have gone flawless though? Like normally, if you get a flawless run, you get banned. <laughs> I think Ethan got one on his grad, didn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, I dodged Ethan. I dodged Artie. Those were my two bracket demons, you know. Oh, and Nikki, and Calx, and John. And by dodged, you mean that they all graduated before you, except for Artie. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. That's not, that's not dodging. You, you you just had to wait for them to graduate. We got Army Wife in the call. Congratulations, oh, hey, my man. Oh. <laughs> just thought, you know. Less people, less people on comms, you know, got to get more. Congratulate you for, you know, fucking graduating. That's huge, dude. Yeah. yeah cheers. One less math for you. <laughs> one, le one less math for me. Nah, nah, nah. One less okay. math for everyone. Nah, that's okay. My math, uh, maths are going to have a, a bit of a harder time once I, once I come back. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But no, with me and Ethan gone, it's like, yeah, that's actually like, how many, when was the last time a math graduated before Ethan? Uh, well, it's a good thing that we have a spreadsheet for these things. 
No, okay, but who checks that? So Ethan, Nikki, John, Rainbow, Calx, Baza, is Cato a moth? No. Cato is a falcon. 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 Let's go, Cato. Um, helium is your answer. Helium. Helium. Wow. Oh, and hel and helium's you know kind of an up and coming goat, so you know. Would you like to? Far off from you. Would you like to guess what BB helium first played in? First played in. Don't don't check the spreadsheet. That's obviously cheating. <clears throat> Baby three. Ooh, it it is very early. BB nineteen. No, oh, okay. Would you Maybe like to I guess? Thought. Helium proceeded to graduate on BB forty five. Coffee was okay. correct. Wow. And then one BB before that, Kiz graduated BB forty four. Another math. And so after that, there has been a like fifty BB dry spell for another math grad. And then once again, almost, not not quite back-to-back, -back, but almost back-to-back, -back, another math grad. It is back-to-back -back character, but not back-to-back -back BB. Damn, you, I really wish I won BB-99. Only few heroes can rise up and graduate BB. Yeah, it feels good. Which is, uh, you know, yeah. math BBs. How does it I feel? Kinda, ever since I started becoming, like, the first seed, I've just been, like so nervous when i'm playing because i know i'm expected to win so it's I'm glad scary it's just kind of done yeah. i was first seed once and uh what was it i think i went oh two oh so i was yeah it was bad oh i would I got, cry yeah i was i was very very upset after that but you know it is what it is that's you take, like you take those losses <laughs> that, that is extreme mental damage oh yeah for sure but you take it with stride yeah, well, it didn't take me as long as it took Calx, so... <laughs> hey, that's fine. You're both graduates anyway, so, you know, you, you'll everyone gets there eventually. Yep. No, I'm glad. I'm glad it's done. Baby was great. I saw big improvements, honestly. Um, and now I can focus on beating all the other grads because I got ninth and Baby 100, and I'm still a bit upset about that. But So I've got to learn how to beat all of them. So I can keep working my way up. I can say I've taken a set off of a BB graduate now. I'm actually I'm a little sad that you graduated because like now I can't beat you and BB. This yeah, sucks. That's this not actually, good about this Nikki. actually sucks. I can't yeah. beat you and BB. I'm all... zero to seven against Nikki, I think. In oh. our BB. And we even did a thug finals when Nikki graduated for one last chance for me and he 3 0 would be. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Like, uh, Nikki's Sheik was so much fun. We need more Sheiks in BB. This, we need, yeah, I, agreed. I'm sure a lot of people, especially in like BB, you know, uh, Sheik can be a hard character for uh, newcomers, but honestly, there's not enough Sheik love. Like, yeah, Yosh, fucking Yosh right there. Just, like, we need less sheets, of course. You would... <laughs> <laughs> no, so the foxes were, like, the rat problem. And then we yes. released the cats, which are the moths, to take care of them. But now there's heaps of wild cats, and they're just everywhere. And we need, like, a guy with a shotgun, which is the sheik, to just, you know, play through some of the cats. If we're, talk um, the sh if we're talking about that, yeah, it would probably be sheiks. Maybe, uh, maybe Falcon. Maybe Falcon, I think. Falcon can eat uh, Marth alive, but it depends. You know? Who's the Falcon who swapped to Mario? Um, Doug. That was Doug, yeah. Interesting. So maybe stay... F uh, no, he can do what he wants, but Doug is good against Marth. Um, cool, 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 cool. I think Key's taken a set off me before in BB. Um, but yeah, no, I, I do think... It's just the fact we have no Sheiks. It's just kind of kind of sad. We might actually now that I I've remembered we might be getting another one. Oh, we cool. might be soonish. I ha I have intel. I have intel that we might be getting one soon. But yeah, I'm I'm so tired after watching that. <laughs> that said, <laughs> oh my god. Um, don't, don't don't worry about that elephant in the room. Maybe <laughs> I, do, I don't think we need to talk about that. Just yeah, just don't talk about it. Anyway. Ravishna um, wants a graduation speech. Oh, fuck. Um, we're all here today to uh, to witness me graduate. It's been a long journey. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, one day, all of you in BB will graduate. 
I'm sure. And you'll join me as a graduate. And uh, I actually used to be good at giving speeches. I remember back in the day. But now I'm old and washed and I just can't do it anymore. My brain doesn't work so well since COVID, you know. And uh, uh, what else? What else do I need to say in a speech? You need to thank the Academy or something. Thanks, thank Lily, for hosting. No problem. Thanks, uh, all the commentators, uh, Ethan, uh, of course, and uh, Barringer. Was it? It was. Who who asked me what my favorite Kung Fu Panda movie was? Was it Ethan or Barringer? That that was almost certainly Ethan. Okay. Uh it's. I haven't seen Kung Fu Panda three. <laughs> okay. Kung Fu Panda one is the most memorable to me, so I'm gonna have to say the first one. But I imagine I think the second one's pretty good as far as like remember he does like the redirecting of the cannonball or whatever have you guys seen uh the new puss in boots movie that was a good movie yeah i saw it in, crazy. it was uploaded hd onto twitter and so funny I just enough i think this is like the second time that someone's mentioned how good the puss in boots movie was at bb in bb commentary because it's just like surprisingly good right it's, it was a, it was a very it's a very good movie yeah, it's just solid. It's just, like, completely solid all around. Meanwhile, like, who's talking about the fucking Mario movie anymore? Like, who actually gives a fuck? Mario movie was fun. Did you see it? Yeah, it's fun. Okay. I like it. It's not actually, like, it's not as good as the Puss in Boots, but, like, it's fun. Were there any, like, uh, after credits, like, sequel bait type of thing? Yes, absolutely. I won't yeah, say it, was. but, uh, yes, there, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. God, I, I've seen people like saying, oh, we need a fucking Legend of Zelda movie now. If that happens, I'm just going to fucking kill myself on the steps of Illumination headquarters, I think. <laughs> in protest. And then two minions come and drag your body away. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the minions. I'm Rabbids, gang. Oh, my God. Rabbids for life. This is what you're spending your graduation speech on. Yeah, There's nothing else to say. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep hosting because I think BB's great. I want to keep seeing people play. Um, you know, so I'm gonna give plenty more takes. Then I'm just glad I'm graduated because it was honestly just I was getting so nervous, like nonstop throughout all the sets. Um, and I'm just glad it's done. I dodged so many people, and I like. I'm just happy that I dodged them all. I'm still. I still haven't been arty in a set <laughs> ever. <laughs> Artie's I'm like, I haven't been Ethan in forever. Ethan, who apparently just got the sex therapy ad. Very cool. Very cool, Ethan. <laughs> I just need to... Just let me dodge every single... I dodged season. Gunk. Gunk is actually getting, like, really good. We love so that. I'm hoping Gunk is the next grad. ACT. Dodge the Yalco. <laughs> Well, who's on two wins right now? <laughs> I did those Yako. Who is on two wins? Um, Key, me. Doug, not you anymore, Test and Brownie. Okay, I think Test and Brownie win if they play again. Um, e and uh, Doug's on two, but he's playing Mario. E can win for sure. I, I guess Chops is on one, right? Yeah. Yes. Um. You know, I honestly think like if I had to, if I was, if I had to bet on who I think is probably going to graduate next, it's probably Rosaro, um, even though he's only on one. Um, provided his internet isn't completely shit and he doesn't do what he did today, because <laughs> um, like he's he's really good and you can tell he grinds a lot. Um, yeah, you can tell he's on box by how well he holds that fucking light shield button or buttons. I don't know how it works for box, but uh, if I he just stops doing that, he's like based. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> why? I don't understand button. why he was doing that. I actually can't believe he did. I, I don't understand why. Maybe he's just so tilted at his own internet that he's like. Uh, oh, it happens. But no, I think Rosaro is probably gonna. That'd be my lock. But yeah. the person I want to see uh, win next is is Gunk, because I can tell he's improving a lot. Interesting. I I was I was actually really you know that's a beach player, but I was that was another one in my mind, and I really expected you know I think everyone was expecting you to say uh you know 
MT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I know MT's gonna gonna win and get through. Uh, MT's great. MT yeah. Best. MT sweep. MT sweep. MT sweep. MT sweep is yeah. Gonk over MT just because the ACT pride, but although I am actually planning to move to Victoria, so I guess that'll change once I move, but mm -hmm. MT's awesome. Um, yeah, we didn't have, like, the best sets. I'm sure he'd say the same thing. The first set was, like, ESD'd, unfortunately, a couple times, but... That's my thing. Happens, and then the second one, he had to go through eight minutes of that shit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that would... Yeah. Well, a it, lot of people. it was more like 16 minutes because there were two games. Oh, 16. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. I, I can't. I can't count. I literally like. Yeah. Okay. I mean, first one wasn't a timeout, was it? it he won with like three seconds left or something. <laughs> okay, sure. Allow me to amend my statement. 15, yeah. 15 minutes and like fifty-five seconds. Are you there, you're happy now. Yes. Oh, seven seconds left. <laughs> Apparently, amend it again, please. <laughs> Fifteen minutes and fifty-three seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Um, but no, MT. Yeah, MT's great. I think it's only fitting that I've hosted possibly the most controversial BB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a rough one. Wasn't it? <laughs> I'm glad. I'll be honest. If what it takes to be the most controversial BB out of 101 <laughs> BBs is just a camp. Like, that's pretty good, then. I'm sure Bundan said some, like, such stuff when he hosted, and he's hey, actually hey, got the hey. most controversial. I'm sure if we were to, like, rank it. <laughs> but, yeah, the whiplash, right, of going from BB 100 to BB 101. No, no, yeah. but this, the tournament was actually, like, very well run. Like, you kept, you, you're telling everyone who's next. People were, like, streaming pretty well. Um, actually went by pretty quick like even after that all of that it still finished like before Be 10 o'clock before schedule yeah i was ahead of schedule the whole time yeah the problem is you, and you i started, started with i started 10 minutes late that. yeah that's true as well i started yeah, that, 10 yeah. minutes late because i had to hey, i i, I appreciate that i yeah, appreciate so that a lot. yeah no that was for you army wife i'm saluting thanks lily <laughs> Ura. how many yeah, have I... you had uh a Luigi May joined, and then your little bro joined, and started talking about planes. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, yeah, I that happened. commentary sucks when I'm the host. It's sort of commentary. just the reality. Right. This was my sixth BB hosted, which ties me with Chibe. Oh wow! Oh cool! Congrats! Yay, yeah. Cool. Chibe washed? Question mark. True. So my awesome. next host to beat is Croc with eleven hosts. Ooh. So that that's a climb, and then after that we're doubling Croc. it almost with Coffee we need Rex Croc to twenty one. Croc that's is what we need. Croc is dead, man. Damn. Both both as a host and a fucking competitor, we need because he's the Sheik. Oh fuck. He he DQ'd from one hundred. He didn't show up. No. Yeah, he, he slept through it. Yeah. I and, also I also DQ'd when I actually probably could have made it. And then the uh, last time we saw Croc was BB88, and he did the classic Croc of playing at it and hosting it at the same time. Yeah, that was the Croc controversy. <laughs> I remember that. Croc I think, yeah, because he was like, uh, he was in voice chat at the same time he was playing. So he was like, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I've had. I, I remember once I was playing Bundan, Bundan's Falco, and um, Goody was coaching him as we were playing, and I got really upset about that. I mean, yeah, that's hmm. questionable. No, I, I think it's fine. Like, how how would we enforce it, right? But uh, I was just a bit. Salty. We said there's no way to enforce it, but if you do know, then it's like, yeah, kind of annoying. We should bring back. Uh, have you seen those photos when they used to have like coaching in in like brands and stuff and you have like Leffen next to Armada coaching him and Hbox is getting coached and it's just like what the fuck were they doing? Which is mid set that? coaching. Anyway, cheers again, Lily. That's all actually good. very well run tournament. Thank you. I, I'm I think I'm getting good at him. Yeah, you even managed to pull up the um 
the stimulants, you know, the attention grabbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got the uh, the watch time retention unlock right now. You just needed some kinetic sand as well. And you know, uh, family guy funny moments. Like, this is like... this line. I was thinking of getting a Joe Rogan podcast up. <laughs> yeah, <just insane. laughs> then that would have actually been the most controversial BB. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to join the war against the woke mind virus on the side of the woke mind virus. <laughs> um, Let's get it. I can't have you playing Joe Rogan because he's not woke. Though he's bold, and we do need more bold representation in the scene. That's true. That is true. Imagine if Joe Rogan picked up Melee. What character would he play? Falcon. Nah, he'd play Fox. I don't think his brain works fast enough for either of those characters. No, that's the yeah. point. You don't need to be Falcon. Fast to play Falcon. Falcon is on the same sort of shit that Joe Rogan's on. I think I think he plays yeah net play Falco and he, he just he, he's not good. <laughs> maybe yeah maybe I got to do a ranking of every Joe Rogan circle person and what I don't even know who they are anymore. Every single time I have a winner's interview, it goes horrifically off topic. I know what's even happening. I'm starting to lose, like... Shit, uh, I, I gotta get the subway surfers back on. Yeah, has like... anyone ever seen Monkey and Joe Rogan in the same room? <laughs> I haven't. That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how... Oh, God, like, I'm I... imagining the end of you. <laughs> so, I... you know Monkey, uh... You know how fucked up they are? <laughs> Jamie, pull up the clip. You know, the, there, the you know there was a girl who uh, got her got, got her face ripped off by a by a monkey once. Is that like something you want to associate associate yourself with, dude? Like, uh, Jenny, scary. The clip, and the monkey's like, monkey's actually pretty cool in person. But, I love um, him. We love monkey. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Would he bring up mango? He doesn't bring up mango that much in person. I'm trying to think of how Mango uh, Monkey would respond to that. He can't really do like emotes in person, so not really. Has anyone on in Smash ever been on? Probably not. Joe Rogan has had some like really weird guests, but it's kind of too big now. Wrap it up, team. Yeah, I agree. I we've got gone... revisioner. We're we've... talking about Joe Rogan podcast. This is getting bad. <laughs> yeah, no, this has been too long on Joe Rogan. Revisioner, you asked for a graduation speech. Let me let me speak. <laughs> this is it. Okay. How many? How many? Uh, what's it called? Where you go through one person and another uh, connections or whatever. But you know, you know how like fiction and Germa have met. I just kind of like, and then I you and fiction. yeah, you met fiction, right? <laughs> so you're so I'm, I'm, two degrees I'm of separation. Clo pretty close Germa. to meeting Germa, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, Actually, we can leave it on that. Yeah, we can leave it on that. Whoa, whoa, hold on. B before... A German number. <laughs> Loz, what's yes. next for you? So that we can actually wrap this on, an, on a related note. What's next for you? All of the people who beat me in Baby 100 and the top eight in general, I want to beat them all. Yeah? So, Jibe's going to take the longest. Yosh is going to take forever. But the rest, I think, I could probably do if I actually start working on some stuff. Um, I think the most practice I, I kind of need to go into is Barringer, actually, because I know he hates Marth, but I can't beat him, so there has to be something that I'm doing disastrously wrong. It's so all the John. It's is to the, keep getting better and beat people. And keep hosting BBs. The matchup is not that bad for Luigi. It's all a fucking John, dude. It's a psyop. Don't let him get to you. Those brain worms about the Luigi-Marth matchup, don't let him. I mean, I, I trust him more than I trust myself on the topic because I, I just don't know. I know when, you know, Coffee complains about Marth, it's just like, okay, well, it's not that bad, but I have no idea for Luigi. Don't say that. You're going to activate him like a fucking sleeper agent. <laughs> I'm trying to poke him. He's too busy studying. Don't uh. get Lily started on Big Luigi. What's my thoughts on the Yemeni famine? I mean, it fucking sucks. The man-made famine by the Saudi government. And Australia supports Saudi Arabia as, like, allies of America. 
so we're essentially like indirectly supporting a man-made famine in Yemen. <sighs> okay, on that note. <laughs> so based. He's so based. Yeah. No, I think that's it. I don't think we're going to read any more chat. <laughs> <laughs> They're tempting me. <laughs> no, I think, I, I think that's it. Um, right, cool. Thank you for playing, Loz. Um, I hope hosting. I hope that this win is very special to you. I hope it will s stick with you in your memory for a very long time. Yep. Um, and thank you everyone for playing. Thank you everyone for watching, um, except Rosaro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and fuck Dreamland. Fuck that stage. I, I, you know what? I'm just ending the stream. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, chat. Bye.